Hello guys, welcome to my video. So today I will talk about a robot named Andrew. Before we start a conversation about a robot that named Andrew, I will introduce myself first. My name is Setiawan. I am a student from Universitas Atmajaya, Yogyakarta. I think my name is too long that for you call me Setiawan. So you can call me with my Chinese name. When when hmm. it more easier than Setiawan, right? Right? Yes, it's right. It's more easier than, than Setiawan. So I come from Pangkal Pinang. Do you know Pangkal Pinang? Hmm? Do you know Pangkal Pinang? Oh, you don't know about Pangkal Pinang? So I will tell you about a little about Pangkal Pinang. Pangkal Pinang is the main city of Bangka Islands. Bangka Islands. Yes, I believe that all of you know about Bangka Islands. Bangka Islands is a beautiful island. That has a lot of tourist attraction that can um, that can make you say wow wow and wow when you visit my island. Mbang mm, Island is fair is uh, is an island that famous because uh, beautiful 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 beach beaches beautiful beaches and yeah. So for you that watch my video, if you love if you love about Hmm, what I must say it. If you love about beach atmosphere, I recommend you with five star. You must come to my lead to my to Bangka Islands. I mean, so why I talk about the Bangka Islands? Sorry, sorry. Let's we talk about our discussion. Robot named Andrew. So who is Andrew? Do you know Andrew? So Andrew is a robot that come from a film with title Bicentennial Man. Now I will show you the trailer about that movie. Enjoy watching. Everybody downstairs. Come on you guys, I got a surprise for so, you. So, I will tell you a little about this movie. What is it? By Centennial Man. It's a movie that tell about a little family that buy a robot named Andrew as their housekeeper and caretakers. By the year but 2005, Andrew is not like a robot family. family. Andrew is Every a unique robot. We'll have an NDR Why Andrew is unique? Andrew, this is because he is a robot that sucks. has a lot sucks. of intelligence not have and feelings. He was designed to serve humans. Andrew lived his life, starting well, from understand a little things like when and how to say how goodbye, to how to make a joke, and another, but there was something uh, different another little thing is that human know One turns the other and says, Does this to understand you? the feeling of love. Put a in it. Starting from <laughs> learning to take job, what exactly to feel the pain of loss, which starts from of his own like master, who has been like a father for him. Good night, sweetheart. In the middle of the movie, it Andrew wants to be a human being. A person who can You're get the freedom to do what man should do. To help you become whatever you're Andrew start the journey and search for her for his self But it seemed impossible for a robot become. like him an to become a human. Finally, Andrew tries to make human beings become eternal like himself who cannot die because of age. All of Andrew's journey is to become a mortal human who can we see in this movie. This looks wonderful. Take the next step. Destiny. From the director of Mrs. Doubtfire comes an epic story. Left. I saw the inner me. That will bridge the gap between man and machine. It works! What the hell is going on? I am the proud owner of a central nervous system. You can feel. Will you perform an experiment just for the sake of science? All right. Kiss me. It's everything they say it is. Bicentennial Man. So guys, that is the trailer about Bicentennial Man. So now, before we start our discussion today, I will give a small rant, small rant thing about the movie. If I have one until ten points, to give the movie a point, maybe I will give it eight points. Why? Of course, I have a reason why I give eight points to that movie. 
For your information, the movie are made and produced at 90 era, and I think in that era, by certain young men, this already has a good story, good idea, and nice effect. Because that, I give it 8 points, but it's just from my opinion. I don't know if you have a different opinion with me. And now, before we start our discussion today, I will invite one friend. Okay, I'm not alone in this discussion, so I will invite one friend to join us today in our deep discussion. So, welcome to Rio Uno. Hey guys, so when you already joined with us today, maybe you can introduce yourself to camera. Hi guys, my name is Rio Gunawan. I am his friend and we are in the same university. Okay Rio, so before we start the discussion about the topic, I want to ask you one question. Do you already watch that movie? Yes, I'm ready. So can you give a small review about that movie? Uh, I think that movie is uh, very cool yeah? because the movie gives me uh, motivations to know about uh, robots. When robots have a feeling like humans, robots will help uh, us, a human, and will be friendly to humans. Okay, so let's we go to the first question. Why do you think Andrew wants to become a mortal human? What are possible reasons that make him think that way? Uh, I think human like uh, wants to become a mortal human because he don't want to see his owner die one by one uh, because he know that uh, if that feel is very sad for him uh, maybe like okay uh, I agree with you but I have an opinion too about that question. Mm, this one is different from yours, so I don't know if you agree with me or not. So, I think Andrew wants to become a mortal human because mm, he are fall in love with Portia. You know Portia, right? Yes, I know. Yes. She is the girl that died together with Andrew at the end of that movie. Why I said he fall in love with her? Like we can see from that movie, Andrew always come to Portia every time. He likes to talk with her and he want to live with her but Portia deny his request his request when Andrew asks her to marry with him because he is not a human but is a robot maybe because that Andrew wants to become a mortal human I think maybe I agree with so, this, so the number the question number one is already answered right yes let's we go to the next question Okay Rio, now let's go to the next question. If you were in his shoes, would you do the same? Why so? Uh, of course I will do the same. I will follow my heart. If my heart says I must become an immortal human for someone that I love, I will do it. So if I am the Andrew, I will do the same. Yes, I very agree with you. If I become Andrew, I will do the same too. Because I think love and destination is a very strong feeling that we have. First, love. If we are in love with someone, we will do anything that we do that we want to be together with our love. So, if I'm a robot and I love a human, I will do like Andrew. I will do the same like he do. And the second is destination. If I already has destination about my life, of course I will follow my destination like Andrew. Okay, maybe just that. So as we go to the next question, if Andrew exists in Indonesia, what would happen to him? Okay, I will start from me. Okay, I think if Andrew is in, 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 in Indonesia, Andrew can marry with Portia because yeah, you know. Like we know, Andrew is a robot and Portia is a human. Of course, we, our country will deny that couple. Yeah. We know that Indonesia has a big role. So, uh, yeah, we know that Andrew already be a human at the end of the movie. But it doesn't mean anything. He's still a robot that be a human. Um, it's a little bit made me confused. But I agree with you. Indonesia has a lot of uh, rule about marriage. 
and I showed that our country will deny copyright. Sorry, this is the last question that we have today. Will you buy a robot like Andrew if Andrew sells in Indonesia? So I will answer it first, okay? If, from my opinion, of course I will buy one if Andrew is produced in Indonesia. In that movie, I can see having robot like Andrew is very helpful for human. Andrew can do anything that human can do. He can study, he can learn fastly from mistake, he can cook, he, can, he has a feeling like us, has so there is no reason that make me don't buy this robot. How about you? Um, maybe I will be with you. And of course, I will buy it too. Uh, we can use a tool that help us to do anything what we want. And the tool can have a feeling like us. So we can make it uh, to be our little family. Uh, I mean, family like. Uh, how can we share the story to them? Can how can <laughs> okay guys, so that's all about our discussion and now we are ready to reach the end of this video and I want to say thank you to Rio Gunawan that already helped me to be my quest in our discussion and I want to say thank you to Zera Yasri that already helped me to recording my song to recording my song I want to say thank you to my buddy that Already teach me in English lesson, Universitas Kapajaya Yogyakarta in class lesson. And last, I want to say thank you to all of you that already watched that video, this video I mean. And if you have comment in my video, just click comment button. And if you want, and if you like, I'll, and if you like my video, click like button. Don't forget to subscribe. So, so my conclusion is, don't forget to like. Comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.